Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to work with this model. You see here a special hexagonal lattice and unfortunately we are not having this kind of uh, spatial commons in SOLIDWORKS in order to create such a model in a confined area. But I was thinking let's give it a try and how we can tackle this problem and I just created it by myself. And I will only create this area for you instead of bracket. But first, if somebody want to have the same model, I would like to show my steps. Firstly, I created a feature which is 30 mm high. If you want to see sketch details, you should look on this one. 2 times 50 diameter and here 100 center distance. Here 200, 70 by 3 degree angular uh, lines and here again here 35 we made 30 and then we add 2 and the radiuses on the edges and here a radius 5 then later on we cut holes 30 30 40 and then we cut one more hole with 5 millimeter depth 55 40 and a mirror to the other side. Later on, we cut center. This is simply a 5 mm uh, offset from outer edge and on the all edges, which is not having any radius. We place radius 5, and the rest just simpler, simple operations and just chamfers. Yes, now. Then we can move to our real uh, operation. First, I'm going to create a sketch on the top plane. And simply, I want to take this sur uh, sketch here, which was used earlier. Now we can hide this guy, and we do see only our sketch. What well, is good now to maybe convert this to a construction geometry and I do click create here two line I like to be neat let's make them looking nice I will make it here tangent I will make the other here tangent I want to see the limits of my in fact uh, area where I should copy my instances that's the idea now we create somewhere here a hexagon and we have a width of 10. Now we are going to make this edge vertical and we add on this uh, sketch to construction geometry as you see on the screen. Now we can give our values. I have here a 15 if I remember. Well, and I have here a 45, something like that, uh, because of the copying of instances, I need to expand a little bit my area. And later on, we go extrude and we make a thin feature, which will be one millimeter or uh, 0 0.5 in total. Sorry, we are going to create it inwards not outwards and mid plane active and height is 20. Nice. We created most important part in fact and now we can show sketch. This is our part and then we go linear pattern now and bodies will be selected with this body. First direction is this distance 9.5 because I don't want to create two double th uh, here thickness and I'm going to create here a copy of 25 for now and we have a direction 2 which is this one and there also I'm going to create at 14 seems good in fact we can get rid of here 1 
because how much body you will have that much problem in this program too much body too much surface is always making problem it seems fine to me now we are inside of the sketch if you would like to see what was that sketch you can simply go here sketch color give a really a contrast color here and you will see we are inside of our sketch I do the tag here one problem we should make of course also here 9.5 hmm? and now we see we need one more yes sorry for inconvenience and after this operation everything looking perfect and simply this cut command where we copy our sketch will be selected that sketch under to cut okay through all both and flip side to cut that means we are going to protect the internal array of the sketch and the rest will be cut future scope will be the area where we want where we will we select the objects that we wanna in fact apply this cut operation and I select first and then I go bend end uh, and I click the shift and now program going to select for me everything and it will take a bit time to take all instances yes everything selected and we do say cut most beautiful part of this program get rid of unnecessary areas and having your form and it takes a bit of time uh, we have some problem I didn't understand all bodies yes I simply say okay to that uh, shit I don't know why ask and then we select all these bodies hmm. we come at the end and we say combine add and this area will be created then also the maybe we need also other big body yes this one probably to combine them combine also this one and we go at the end yes almost there I do assume we have done good now right now okay did we select one wrong body this shouldn't be guys yes at the end we have it yeah if, if the program really gives some error there is little problems I think it was like we have been creating their little surfaces something like that but yeah at the end we tackled problem that's not a big issue yeah this was all tutorial in fact I hope you like it and it is looking very nice I don't know whether it is producible or not manufacturable I mean but yeah, it is looking very nice and I like to challenge myself and program a bit thinking differently and next time I will make another version of this thanks for watching see you in another video